people deluded. Now, USA, America, the American national team, or soccer as the American soccer team as they call it, is football. I don't know what thing you lot play with the with the thing and you're booting it and stuff. That ain't football. This thing is football. But I've been watching. I'm not a biggest MLS fan. I don't watch MLS. I'm not gonna lie. I watch it here and there. I don't. I find it boring. I don't find the standard high enough. I, when Villa was doing his dirt, I was watching it. But I watch it here and there. I don't really have time for it, and that's my bias. Shoot me. But one thing I can admit, I'm liking the players that are eligible to play for America or the players that are being brought over from America or the players that are young with scope to develop. And I think America have a good chance of, I don't, I'm, obviously I'm not saying winning World Cup, but to put themselves as a nation higher up the FIFA rankings, to get themselves held in higher regards, um, to see the fruits of their labour and just have a better chance of qualifying for the next World Cup, in my opinion, to be fair, because there's some good players. And what I like to see more is that a lot of these players are coming from coming out of Amer coming out of European based academies or being brought from brought there very young and playing for them. Imagine imagine I mean obviously they've got Pulisic now, um but and he's not the oldest and he's probably someone that could be a talisman and you've got Ware of PSG, but you've got young Sergi Desk of, 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 of Ajax, I really like him. Tyler Adams playing in Germany, I like him. Wilston Kelly, I could never say his name, playing for Schalke. I've got high hopes for Josh Sargent of Word of Bremen. I remember him at the World Under Twenty World Cup. I think technically them times day he was seventeen and he wasn't signed by a club. Um, allegedly Bremen are going to play him a bit more first team football next season, so I'm keen to see that. It's very early, but if you don't remember Claudio Reyna, Giovanni Reyna, young sixteen year old, allegedly he's joining Dortmund soon. Um, there's a couple of young sixteen year olds I'm seeing making their debuts in MLS as well, who haven't got their names to hand. Um, you've got Schalke's Nick T um, Tajan, and I can never say his name. Not Schalke. You've got Nick Tajal, and I can never say his name. You've got that. Is it Chris Durkin? I can never say his name either. Um, you've obviously got Chris Kennedy. Um, who else is there? Who else is there? It's not Chris Kennedy. There's someone Kennedy. There's a good little... It could be Chris Kennedy. There's a good crop of American-based players coming about. You've got Keaton Parts. Again, whether I necessarily rate these players or not, they're just just the fact that the talent pool is getting there for America, and for me, is the better, more promising for America is that they, a lot of them are going to European clubs early or staying within European clubs um, or coming up through American uh, um, European clubs. That's good for the American game because let's not lie, the standard of coaching in Europe and the development is is twice that in America. America is very is I'm give I, I need to give it more credit because I feel especially with the fitness approach, America is one of the best. But in terms of technicality, come off. America is chasing football a hundred of years. It's chasing European football by hundred hundreds of years. We've been playing this from day dot. Like we, let's. I don't want to say America has just turned serious because it hasn't. Because they've they've been around longer than I have. But and they've just turned serious, really and truly, people. I'm I'm only seeing certain next level sort of youngsters now, sort of thing. Obviously, Zalalem is injured as well, and Zalalem. Well, he was injured, and it's probably a far cry from this next Cesc Fabregas Zalalem. But if someone like him could get could get back to playing, he brings the um, talent pool stronger. And for me as well, the most promising one would be Conrad De La Fonte. I can never say his name. He's got a very good background. I think he's eligible to either play for Haiti or the or the Dominican Republic. Forgive me, bro, if I got you wrong, but definitely plays for America at youth level. Plays for Barcelona again. He's only seventeen. Um, difficult to see if he breaks through at Barcelona, but even if he doesn't, America have a decent player and someone will have a decent player, man. I mean, I personally would hate to play against him if I was a fullback because he always wants to take you on. He is quick. He's quick in the decisions he makes. His link-up play is quick. He's very good with the balance. He'll take you on down the inside. He'll go down the outside. He can turn. His balance is good. He'll turn and then go past you. Got a bag of tricks. I mean, got all them FIFA skills down to a T. He's very good, man. Very good player. Obviously, if you saw him against Hertha Berlin in the youth gen or youth youth league, whatever they call it, the fake Champions League for the little kids, them, it's it was great. He's a nightmare to play against. He's probably the one I'm looking at the most, and I think he's an American under twenty international. And again, it's still he's still got a lot to work on. But he's someone I'd be I won't be surprised if he makes his American debut in the not-too-distant future. I'm not sure of his eligibility to play for Spain, but if he keeps developing, maybe that's a factor. Um, there's obviously a lot of other 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 candidates, man, and I think I've messed up Chris Ken Kennedy's name, but there is someone Kennedy, people, and someone Durkin or Duncan. They could, I don't know what teams they play for, but I, I, I definitely remember searching their names and reading about their reports and seeing they were decent players on top of the ones I've I've spoken about. For me, the two I'm looking at with the most promise would be 
Conrad De La Fuente, like I've said, and Sergio Diaz, the fullback at, at Ajax. I think they're two very good players. I love Tyler Adams as well, and I really got a lot of time for Sargent, man. There's obviously players I'm not mentioning here, but just the fact that the talent pool is getting bigger, and I'm looking at club when I'm looking at clubs on a random one. I'm hearing the commentator say, "Yeah, he's an American international. He's this and that." The the bigger the pool for the ta the bigger the talent pool for these sort of people, sort of countries, the better they can improve. And to be honest, like you're seeing what a lot of Chinese, a lot of the um, Chinese players are doing now, or Senegalese, well not Senegalese, China's the best one. You're seeing you're seeing China was smart. They had a lot of good partnerships with Spanish based clubs. I made a video about it to let their players go to these clubs on loan. To the I, to the untrained eye, you would see these players and say, "All right, they're not playing. What's the point of being signed for these clubs on loan?" But you've got to think about it. The training you're gonna get in Spain to China, no disrespect, because they're playing catch up. You see in China, they how much UEFA B coaches are being taken over there to, and given lucrative money to not only train train players but train normal based national Chinese coaches but you're seeing you're, you're, you're obviously I forgot the point I was going to make obviously with China you're seeing you're seeing that obviously if them lot there at them Spanish clubs they're playing to a higher standard they're training with higher quality facilities coaches etc players that's going to improve them so if they don't go on and make that debut for the, the Spanish team they're on loan at, they're going to go back to the national base side or the national base league or national base club playing to a higher standard. You see a lot of people doing these sort of things now, a lot of nations, and um, it's nice to see with America. And even if you look at players like Flo, um, Flo Balogun of Arsenal, consistently flirting, and it's good for him, getting good experience playing for America and England at youth tournaments, but he's eligible, he's born in New York. Now, if you can convince someone like him and players like that with the eligibility to play for America, you have a decent nation. America have a long way to go, but they have a good crop of players. And I felt I needed to make a video because every time I'm looking at games here and again, here and there, I'm hearing American Youth International, this and that. I haven't seen so many people. And the bigger the talent pool, the more chances they have of doing things. And obviously, I forgot to mention, but Way is a sick footballer as well, but we have to wait until them and they develop. But... That's all I wanted to say, man. For me, Conrad De La Fonte is the one, man. I think he's a baller, people. I think he can go all the way to American full, in, full international and play at a very good standard of, of football. He's, he's 17. It's difficult to say if he can make, make it at Barcelona because we've been here before with De La Feo, with Adama, with Sampa, with many of players, and we'll be here again with many a player. So it's difficult for him to say if we make it at Barcelona. But he is a quality player, man, and I think he's set for a big, big career, man. And if, to be honest, I'd actually like to bring him to Arsenal, if I'm completely honest with you. If I'm completely honest with you, I'd love, love to tempt him to come to this club. But it is what it is, man. For now, I'm going to keep it moving, though. People deluded. Stay safe. I'm out.